Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh to your brother Naveed alongside with brother Ishaq. Is that correct? Yeah, Ishaq. And, and brother, where are you from? I'm um, from Hong Kong. Say that again? Hong Kong. Did you hear me? Have you ever met a brother who is from Hong Kong who is Muslim? If not, he's going to show you uh, something really, really mind blowing. So you've got to be ready, you've got to be focused. And we're not talking about food today. We're talking about calligraphy. Now, less of me, more of Brother Ishva. Let I me mean, just take a look at here. The brother's going to go through the different styles of um, pens that he uses and materials which he uses to put these amazing products together. So, Brother. Okay. Smella, these are actually, we call it Chinese brush pen. Not huh? Chinese brush, Chinese brush. These are for calligraphy, for different types, for different shapes, for, you know, large or small sizes. And these are for drawing and also we can, you know, use it for the arts. And these are Arabic, of course, writing Arabic, okay, and you know, original. This is a bamboo, it's a weed, okay? This is, I used to use. I used the uh, uh, Chinese ink and Chinese pen and the, all of this stuff. And this is, uh, you know, the things that I have done before. There are surah uh, with the Arabic, original Arabic, a surah al-Fatiha, okay? And also, this is a surah al-Fatiha in Chinese. Yeah, this is a, you know, traditional Chinese fan. And I wrote it with the uh, Chinese brush Chinese. in Chinese. Okay. This is a small fan. Okay. And this uh, half Arabic, half Quran. I mean, half Arabic, half Chinese. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And this one is uh, Chinese. When you look at it, Chinese, shan, shan means ihsan. Okay, this is another idea. This idea which is Arabic and Chinese combined. I mean, uh, in one word that you will see two uh, calligraphy or two letter, two cultural, two different letter in one letter. Give you same meaning. Ihsan in Chinese, Sha Ihsan, same meaning. This uh, new book, this is, uh, when you, you will see Chinese brush style, Arabic calligraphy which is using the Chinese brush to write the Arabic calligraphy. And I'll introduce to you about all things regarding this calligraphy in three language, three languages in this book, Arabic, Chinese, and English. You will see from your side is Chinese letter, Zhu. Zhu means Lord, Lord. But when you turn it, when you turn it, it becomes Arabic letter, Allah. When you turn it, it becomes Arabic letter Allah. Okay, so this is a Chinese and Arabic combination. If they combine it in one letter, and also, of course, this is look looks like somebody is praying. Somebody is praying to you, Lord. Okay, and this one, you will see four letters in Chinese. Feng Zhu Zhi Ming means start with the name of the God. But when you turn it like this, it become Arabic Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Same meaning in Chinese and Arabic. From your side, you see this letter is Shen in Chinese. But when you turn like this in Arabic, that you will see Muhammad. Muhammad is the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet in Chinese letter that we call Shen. This letter. From your side, you will see Chinese Yin. Yin means guidance or guide. But when you turn it, it becomes Arabic. Hedayatun. Hedaya. Hedaya means guidance. From your side, you will see two letters of Chinese. Call it Ping An. Ping An means salam or peace. Peace. When you turn to become Arabic, Assalam. Assalam. Assalam means peace. In Chinese, it's Ping An. Same meaning. Letter, we read it in Chinese. Jin. Jin means holy book. When you turn it, it becomes Al Quran. Al Quran. The holy book of Islam is Al Quran. So, this is Chinese Jin. When you turn it in the names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is how I write it in the Chinese way with a Chinese brush pen. Then you can see on the rice paper with the black ink. Yeah.
to let you guys know that who else have you been working alongside with? Yeah, Chanel, and also I do for the UAE Al Emirat, uh, the uh, Tourism Bureau. There you go. So he's not small fish. He's in Birmingham. We got to make it big. And so, guys, was that mind blowing? If it is mind blowing, I've got some news for you. Inshallah, I'm going to offer to write a name on this kind of you know bookmark with the in the rice paper. Okay, this is a very very rare things that you can get it here in UK especially and there are some paper like this okay sizes small or big it was stuck from and you need to shout about this because this is something you need stay safe stay blessed it's all about enjoying the good and forbidding what's evil assalamu alaikum from me assalamu alaikum